I'm turkey hunting today and I'm in Missouri at Tombstone Creek Outfitters. Anyway, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about this blind that I'm using. It's obviously the new Primos Double Bowl um, 180 see-through blind. And um, I'm getting some impressions after hunting with it for a few days. Um, you can see that you can actually see through the blind and so far I've had um, some turkeys and deer not really uh, pick me out, so I do think it works pretty reasonable. <clears throat> haven't had anything real close, but at least in the distance they haven't picked me out. I've had squirrels get it real close, though. The hubs on this blind are really sturdy, by the way. Um, so you really have to collapse it and really kind of push it back together to get it to fold up. But I found the blind to be really in excellent shape, easy to see through, pretty easy to hunt, really good for one person um, setup. As you can see, I'm, like I mentioned, I'm turkey hunting today, and you can just pull down these windows, it's not really meant to be a shoot through, and uh, <clears throat> so far I'm liking it, I think uh, it's a high thumbs up, as long, especially if I can get something close. The windows are a little bit low on this blind. I wish they were up for a little bit longer, so it makes it a little bit harder to shoot through or you need a shorter seat. So that's one issue I have with the blind. But I made it work. I just get a little funny looking through this mesh. It's not as clear as it looks like even in this picture. So it feels like, you know, you are you got fly eyes when you're looking through it. In fact, I think it's easier to see with this camera through it than it is with my own naked eyes. <clears throat> I was asked about when it's windy, how do the holes um, let a lot of air in? And in my opinion, um, for the most part, it really does block the wind more than you might imagine. So, like when this is open, you can really feel it cool, but if you put your hand on the other side of it, you don't really feel the wind as much. You still feel some, but not like before, so it's not horrible. I'm still hunting. This is another day. I'm going to show you what happens when it rains. That it does kind of block the visibility of the holes or the mesh. And I'd say it's easier to see through this camera than it is actually with my naked eyes. But anyway, hopefully a turkey will show up today. Those are some of my decoys. Here you can see some turkeys as they're walking across the field. And they don't really pick me out. And then later I see some turkeys up a lot closer. But anyway, the blind seems to be working here. Um, you'll see in another video where I'm working on some bears. But anyway, this is still turkey hunting here. <coughs> I'm hunting today. It's June 1st. I'm at Bear Tracks Outfitters, and uh, I'm set up over a bait called Muskrat 2 with my trusty Carbon Air 34. Got my Ozonics running. Here you'll be able to see a bear that's within 15 to 16 yards of me and doesn't even pick me out. And, um, you know, so this is show, really shows that the volume works well. I'm actually filming through the screen mesh. If you want to see the rest of this video, go to Paul Korn's bow hunting channel. But um, it does help you to pick out something that I would have missed just looking through those windows. So um, we'll just uh, say that it looks like a thumbs up, a big thumbs up actually for me. Take care. Bye.